going on everybody hope everybody had a happy thanksgiving i know i did definitely put down some turkey gravy mashed potatoes and pumpkin pie anyways guys today's video um copper jigs how to make copper jigs and i don't know if you fish with copper jigs but if you do you probably had this problem before get to your tackle box Grab them out, and yeah, they all come out like this. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that, and uh, I'll show you how to make those copper jigs. Obviously, they're awesome. Copper jigs are awesome for bottom fishing, especially ling cod. absolutely love them I don't know what it is something about the copper mixing that salt water they just nail them anyways uh, yeah copper jigs I use them when I'm fishing out in the ocean uh, bottom fishing usually like deeper than 100 feet of water anything shallower than 100 feet I use just some, some little little grubs little little jigs but over 100 feet, 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet, 400 feet. Get these copper jigs on the bottom. Lee cod, absolutely love them. And, and black bass and other types of fish. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna, let's get started with this video and I'll show you how I make them. And uh, if you make them differently, let me know. Leave a comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get started. So I got some three quarter inch copper here. Um, some of my copper jigs I'll make, you know, three inches long, some six, some eight. All depends on how deep of water I'm fishing. So I'll make, I'll make some six, I'll make some three, and I'll make a few eights today. So I got my mark at six inches. I got my soles all here. My three quarter inch cap. Got that baby on there. Put a little solder on it. All right, put the little end cap on. Now I'm going to solder it. I don't know, it might be a little overkill. I might not need the cap. and But, anyways, I'm not a plumber, but sometimes it's kind of fun to play around with uh, stuff I don't know too much about. So get this, get this, and this bad boy on. All right, what's going on here? All right, got this copper jig sitting in the water now. I'm 
I made this little jig or this little template here to sit it in. It's like I'm about to bust that piece off. Try it again now. There we go. Got my lead heating up. Okay, I got this cotter pin that I'm going to use at the very top of the copper jig but it's too long, so I'm gonna cut it in about half. There we go. Use a screwdriver. There we go. Get this thing's ready to sit in here. Just about like so. on because obviously this is lead this is some pretty nasty stuff don't want to breathe it in take my glasses off glasses on so I can see better a little bit more there we go right there all right that looks good
All right, number two. There we go. Looking good, looking good. So there you go guys, there's two of them. This lead though, I don't need to tell you guys, I think everybody knows it's some nasty stuff, so. Some nasty lead stuff so don't you know don't breathe it in don't make a fire anyways I'm gonna finish pouring the rest of these and then uh, we'll get on to the next step about uh, what's gonna cause you not to have any more tangles when you pull these things out of your tackle box that's the best part here it comes only for a couple minutes now let's put them in bucket Get this nasty thing away from me. She's hot. She's hot. Hope I don't ruin my new little white bucket that I bought. All right. Let's let these things cool down. And then we'll go on the next step, which is drilling a hole through the copper, uh, the copper jig. Drilling a hole. I'm putting these big old cotter pins in. Big cotter pins with the big treble hook. These are 10 aught. These are 6 aught. And if you want, you can put like a little, little squid hoochie on there. All right, let's drill this baby. go good to go good to go that will work That will work.
this one here I don't know maybe these uh, cotter pins are a little bit long maybe cut them off or maybe go buy some shorter ones but anyways there you go so instead of having this Right, you just put those things in your copper jigs like that, like that, I think you can see what I'm saying here, get you all your carter pins. All your big old hooks, like so. Get out in the ocean, pull up what size you want to use, pull out the hook you want to use, your cutter pin, like so. Let's say we want to use this one. There's my rod, my main line. Start off with a couple of uh, shrimp flies. All right. And then this copper jig goes on the bottom. Tell me that baby's not going to catch fish. There you go, guys. On these shrimp flies. Get yourself some gel. Doesn't have to be squid. Any kind of procured salmon, slamming salmon or whatever. Put some of that on, on your shrimp flies. Or cut up some of these anchovies in just little, you know, half inch sections and put on the shrimp flies hooks. And go out and get yourself some bottom fish. Hope you guys liked the video. Later.